It's not over yet, is it? The one who killed Sakura is me. I told her she was too much of a pussy to do it. She proved me wrong. Do a backflip. Is it yellow powder or the Monica file? Right you were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with the Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? Wait. Right where I woke up! I killed her there in front of the shell! Okay, got it. Second attack was the killing blow. Okay, I need to check one thing about the truth bullets. The status of Sakura's body was found seated. Got it. You got that wrong. We found Sakura sitting upright in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. I mean, yes, there is. It's called being hit in the head, walking two feet, slumping into a chair, and then dying. What? It's head injury. So, you finally noticed. That's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way. This has to be it. The evidence that proves there was an attack in front of the magazine shelf was the magazine shelf blood. I got it. Sakura was definitely attacked in front of the shelf. The blood stained by the magazines is proof of that. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now, look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. There's no way I could move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that! Then... then what's the deal? Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? But... but... Plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room, still has yet to be explained. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. <sighs> So she just hid in there? Till everyone showed up and opened the door? And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. No, I don't think that's possible. I was in the locker. I saw yes, it for myself. I was in the locker. Even before we opened the door to the rec room, Hina and I both got a look inside. And at that point, the locker was already open. So obviously, Toko couldn't have been hiding in there. Hmm. Okay then, where was she hiding? I don't know! What's this whole locked room thing about anyway? How do you not know? You killed her! I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her, thank you very much! Fair. You're lying! No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head! I mean, you think she could die from that? Well, I can't imagine what else could have killed her. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Could we really be missing something so important? If there's another possible, possible explanation, maybe it's... Is that Pauda? Kyoko's examination summary, magazine dying message, man, no, now it's getting all powder, okay. What was it that killed Ogre? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? There's no other possible cause that killed Sakura. I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. So you're dead set on blaming me, huh? Okay. Was it? If it wasn't from Japan, what was it? There's no other that killed soccer. I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. No, okay, that's not it. Mm -hmm. Shoot! Okay. What was it that killed Ogre? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, 
Then what was it? There's no other pop that killed Sakura. I can't think of anything other than the that. There we go. You got that wrong. Because of the blood that was coming out of the mouth. Because it says yeah. she vomited blood. Well, I mean, that doesn't mean much. When you hit her over the head, she could have bit her tongue. Sakura had vomited blood. There's a lot of things that could cause that, especially if you, she was Vomiting having... Vomiting blood is not okay, blood well, coming out of your mouth. Yeah, the blood just coming out of the mouth is what I was talking about. But if she vomited blood, you can get that if you have a brain injury. It, it can happen. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Once again, that part doesn't matter. Well, I mean... Maybe when she got hit with the bottle, she cut the inside of her mouth. If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. There we go. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. You even checked in there? God, you really are into dead bodies! No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Some sort of reaction within her body. Most likely, Sakura was poisoned. Poisoned? That's right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. I mean, there can because be one mistake. I'm the smartest person in the world, and no one's smarter than me, and I know everything. Also, didn't we find this information, and now he's taking credit for it? Yeah. Like, he's like, wow, you're really actually useful for finding this clues and stuff. And I'm like, dude, it was, it was right there. <laughs> Is it really so hard to believe? Then let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to poison her. You can explain it? Of course, if you don't mind. Everyone quiet! Shut up and listen to Master! But you're the only one talking. The key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Huh? Not in the rec room? And I could have found it all along. You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Well, yeah, good point. There's a big shelving unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. Also, he thought he killed her, so that was case closed. Yeah. And that's where I found this. Is that the poison? It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. Where'd you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections. A, B, and C. I'm really worried about how we know. In section A, dietary supplements. That's fun. In B, reagents. And in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Part of the... yeah... He got it from section A. I got it. The poison was actually in section A, wasn't it? Huh? You just said that section A was for supplements or whatever. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Yeah, so? Why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. Well, what do you mean? I mean this. I couldn't believe my eyes. Five billion fireflies. I fucking wish that was actual god. Bianca put the ball of poison Please. to his lips and. Please let him actually kill. We were so shocked at what we were seeing. All we could do was stand there and watch. But it, if it were the most natural thing in the world, Bianca gone was as calm as ever. That's the issue. certainly makes me want to spit it out. What's so high quality about this stuff? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? Can I see that bottle for a second? Oh, sure. Do whatever you like. Kyoko took at the bottle from Byakuyan, scraped a bit of the contents with one finger. She touched her finger to her tongue. It's protein powder. Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder, the poison that should have been in that bottle, where did it go? Over the floor. Where did it come from? Cotton Eye Joe. 
bottle of poison was actually filled with protein powder. Which would mean that conversely the poison must have been in... Could it be... Hmm. What? Hangman's Gambit time. Um... Or... Oh, there we go. E... At least I'm getting good use of all of these mechanics. Because most of the time, I just use like one or two of them. And that's it. Mm. Protein drank. And... That end really avoided you. Protein drink. I Easy. Understand. I would have probably said the bottle or something. Or... Must have been poured into the protein can. If the protein's in the poison bottle, it seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? Until you realize this is Byakugan fucking with us again. Just like round one. Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. Something at the scene? I'm gonna kill a bottle! A cup filled with water! You're saying they gave her a protein drink, right? A protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. What? That's all it took to kill Sakura. Die that is hydrogen. the true cause of death. Monoxide. Death died. You know? Die what? Hydrogen. Do you remember over saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains? So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. But what was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. And I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. For real? Who was it? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. I got it! What, Gabe? Footprints left behind in front of the shell. You don't sound happy, Gabe. No, That's I wonder why. evidence you're talking about. Why? I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that There's point. There's no reason I'm not being happy. appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. I don't know about Byakugan's foot size, but there's only a couple other people who have small feet, and I like them. It's a little more detailed than just small feet. I know. The culprit must have gone to section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who... It was me. Yeah. The footprints. They're mine. If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? <sighs> Ogre's killer was... Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. That's where you're wrong. As I suspected. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. I mean... Yeah, okay, that's... <sighs> Just based on that picture, no, but in real life, yeah, that's fine. And only two people wear sneakers. I got it. Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, so Byakuya. That explains why you. Yeah. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. That somebody grabbed a pair of sneakers out of the, uh, the, uh, you know, 
the thing I'm forgetting the name of, the place where the candy was from. The warehouse. That's it. Plus, Nina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? I... I can't believe it. What about it can't you believe? Well, it's just... the two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Hina used that trust to kill her. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Hina, is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. And then she downed it. All at once. And... And then... Hold it! I'm not convinced. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honeyed words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent. Defeating them. Not a Dude, person alive would up. sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. I would. Stop sucking your own dick for one second, BRC. Also, we already know, based on the first trial, Nagy would. That was the entire thing that you brought up in the first trial. No. That she was planning on pinning on us, and we wouldn't have fought back. Just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. <sighs> how many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism, but there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Well, th that doesn't matter. Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? She doesn't want us all to know that Sakura killed herself. And that's sweet, but... No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not... Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? The fact that I don't want to believe it. It just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? It's too obvious. Too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. That, that was... I was just nervous. So, I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. You didn't notice? Yeah, that's just how it was. What can I do? Listen, Hina. Could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. But how come? That doesn't matter. Hina, please. I'd Murder like details? Too. Who needs them? Not me. Yeah, to be fair, this doesn't explain how the powder got broken on the ground at all. How the footprints were there to begin with. Any of this. This is Hina trying to... Yeah. Fine. I, I keep... I don't know. Your time if you like. It's what? It's clear that Hina is the culprit. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well, right away I went to section C and got the poison. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. I see. 
Okay then, go on. So then I moved to section A and got the protein powder. And that's where I switched them. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. And because of that, everything I did got found out. And that's it. That story you just told. First you went to section C to get the poison. Then moved to section A to get the protein, right? Meaning you went from section C to section A. Do I have that correct? Mm, yeah. But if that's true, isn't that a little strange? Can you repeat that series of events one more time? What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy. It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? How long? Until we figure it out. Until I uncover the full truth of this case. Make your argument. Source of the powder, footprints in the powder. My guess is the footprints. First I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, and then? I moved from section C to section A. And that's where I switched the powder. Once I was done switching them, I put the bottle filled with the protein powder back in section A. Then I took the bottle with the poison in it and left the chem lab. That's all there is to it. Honestly, that's enough. How much longer must we tolerate this? Yeah, so around eight or so. First I went to that's when I got the and you spilled some of the yeah. Okay, and I moved from section C to section You got that wrong. You said you went to get the poison from section C. And that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah. What about it? And after that. You said you moved from section C to section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from section C to section A. Mm, that contradicts what you just Sounds said. Sounds like Emma. Look! Then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? What's the meaning of this? Uh, um, person I'm accusing of murder. Why the hell does your description not match reality? So, Byakugan's essentially a just shitty version of uh, um, Edgeworth from Phoenix Wright, where Edgeworth's actually a good guy. He just plays the villain just to get the truth. And he's just actually just a shitty person, Byakugan is. You lied to yep. us. Plain and simple. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to section A. So you never went to section C. Whatever <coughs> you did there, it only involved section A. Oh, well, you see. What the? What the hell? What's going on here? And the What's going on the here? Problem with her account. What? Before How can I, I be wrong? Out, I'd like to submit some new evidence. New evidence? Impossible. There can't be. Are you sure? After Are you all, sure about you're that? the one that gave it to me. I did. It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. I'm amazed you of all people would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. Just say it already. What is it you think you found? I found this. Piece of glass to the bottom of the bottle, and the hidden clue was exposed thanks to you ingesting the powder. I could have damn shame you didn't drink it. without you, so thank you for that. But, but oh, what is it? Oh, you still don't realize? Well, then, Makoto, why don't you explain it? Huh, me? Fine, if you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. Ooh, shard of blue, Michael glass. 
I mean the rec room window. It's part of the window from the rec room door, right? The window? The window we broke to get in was light blue, just like that. So I think that must be it. You're right. It must be. Of course, that leads to another question. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? What's so strange about that? What's strange is that, according to what Hina told us... According to what Hina told us, it was supposed to be on section A of the shelf. I got it! The bottle of poison was left on the shelf in the chem lab. That is what you said, right, Hina? Um... And yet, somehow a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Everything Hina told us was a lie? In reality, that bottle of poison most Dude, definitely people just go on the internet the and tell lies? It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked, there's no yep. other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. So, you remember when Hina went to go get everyone? Mm -hmm. That's what happened. And then, once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Wait, hold on. You're moving too fast. We're not. I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked, but how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with a poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it, or trip over it, or anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Yes. Not at all. Mm. Just answer Indeed. to the best of your ability. It technically is. <laughs> well, no. Not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay then, that settles it. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was opened. Oh, come on! How can you say that? How can you know what I don't know? I mean... Oh, maybe it's because you're a dumb bitch. Naegi knew it because he noticed it immediately when he went there. The reason she yeah. said is because there's evidence. There's proof that someone brought the poor tin can to the rep room after it was opened. Some people you... are actually smart. You're just stupid. I mean, you got your... Like, you did a full investigation except for on the body, so... Source of the powder, always a empty protein can, Walker handprint, chem up shelf. When it comes to that protein can, there's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in the- So you're saying, someone planted it there after we got the door open? No. No, that's impossible! It, it had to have been in there the whole time! Did it have it to be? to be! It was in there before- Got that wrong. Did it have to be- you remember how there was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? Of course. It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. We also found pieces underneath the can. What? And this proves it. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. So it had to be after we got into the room. I... I see. So that's your explanation. Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it... If that were the case, that would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison, and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room, and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. If that's all true, then 
why did Sakura drink the poison? I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. No. No, that's not why. The only explanation is she drank it from its original bottle, knowing exactly what it was. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? You're saying she drank it knowing what it was? Such a ridiculous fiction is exactly what happened. The Akagon doesn't understand the thought of not just being out for yourself. Selflessness. The thought of, you know, not wanting to just live forever and just kill other people so you can survive. Then tell us already. Er, sorry. Please, tell us. There we go. Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. What do you think, Makoto? The one who got the poison from the chem lab and brought it to the rec room. It had to have been Sakura. I got it! It was Hiro! I think it was Sakura yeah. herself. Plot twist. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? She was apparently murdered twice, three times, actually. Yes. What, what are you talking about? That bitch had a lot of no lies. Way. On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poisons. You're lying! Stop lying! Why? Why would you lie like that? No, it's not a lie. Sakura definitely went to section C. I have to get Hina to admit that. Don't you love all the panic talk time actions you get to do in this yep. trial? Three of them! Jesus Christ! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! Wrong! You're wrong! I hate you! You're a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! Final strike. Do you have any kind of proof Sakura took the poison? Yes, I do. Did you know that Sakura's foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? Ooh. It did? It did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow, wasn't it? So the powder we found on Sakura, what else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? Ah. Wait, wait, wait. So, what was that powder doing on Ogre's foot? And it was only on her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. Uh. And when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing, which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still got scattered around. And some of it must have wound up on her instep. Is there any problem with my thinking? But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all, that's all that section contained. No! It was me! I... The poison! Because... Because... Because I killed her! No, you didn't kill her. The one that killed Sakura. The connection between Sakura and the poison, the unsolved mystery of the locked room. There's only one way to explain it. Who killed Sakura? The first time that this is actually real. Time to pick Hina. Hina, you you skipped him. You passed him already. <laughs> this, I've made this joke during a couple trials already. <laughs> yeah, and now it's true. Here's my answer. <laughs> That's why you were asking what happens Sakura if someone kills himself, himself, and I was like, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm good at this. <laughs> what? The killer was 
Sakura? Wait, so you're saying it was suicide? It'll be nice and neat, except it wasn't. I don't believe it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly. I can't believe it either. Damn, bitch, I didn't know you could fly. I don't want to believe it. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in a room. And she drank it. All so she could end her own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Because, of course, Sakura wanted to create the locked room. <laughs> Byakuya's dick. Monokuma forced her into the locked room. I got it. The Byakuya the one sounds room mystery realistic. Was created by Sakura. You think he's capable of that? Yeah. He, yes, he would if he wanted to, but, like, I don't think he would actually succeed. He makes too many mistakes. I'm sure she locked herself in so Damn. nobody could stop her from doing what she did. She sat there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. And the empty bottle of poison she yeed her last the hall. Room, until we came and opened it. At that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? You're an accomplice. You're not a murderer. Aoi was trying to kill everyone. You did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? When we found her body, you stayed right there near the door. Because you already knew Sakura was dead. And because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything. And Kyoko was busy checking the body. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. You said you were going to go get everyone else, but your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you'd grabbed from the rec room. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein can. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense. When you were done, you gathered everyone together. And once you were back in the rec room... While everyone else was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the ground. So I don't know that if I've commented on this, but music's actually really weird but really good in this game. It's yeah. very energetic and fun. Like I said, I'm so excited for you to hear the fucking second game's theme. Honestly, you should have noticed. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. The Hina I know never would have left her side in a situation like that. So, Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence, and yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? You fell for an idiot's trick. I hope you know that, Byakugan. Aoi's a cinnamon roll, but she's not smart. She was able to figure out how to do this, which is impressive, but she's no genius. Not like Kyoko.